What's up everyone? So today we will go over a simple tutorial on how to fund and open up your C Twitter account. First thing, when you see in your dashboard, you will see that you will have an amount. Let's say we have a thousand dollars here in our USD wallet. Next, what we want to do is we want to open up a account on C Trader. So we will go to platforms. We will go to C Trader. And once we come in here, we'll be able to choose which account we want. So in this case, I want a ECN account, which is raw spread institutional liquidity next the currency we will choose usd leverage i want to choose 500 and then from here i'm going to open up an account it's loading and the account has been created right here okay so i have an account 1048676 now what i want to do is i want to deposit funds to this account so we'll go to deposit from here we choose thousand and we want to um, import 100% of this amount and we hit transfer. Now, once the account is created, next, what we want to do is we want to start up our C Trader and we want to add this to the platform. So we will go to dominionmarkets.com. From here, I will download desktop if I want it for desktop. If, if, if I want it for Mac, we'll do that and so on and so forth. So it's already downloaded. I'm going to open up my C Trader application and from here let's go towards dominion mkts at gmail.com pass password i'm not too sure what the password is going to be so let's go to let's go over here okay a new trading account has been created so it looks like this is our password and this is the login id but now we want to be able to sign in to see trader let's go to reset password MKTS, the robot bus. We have a bus over here, bus here, bus here, bus here. Verify. All right. Um, so I guess we have to verify the email address. The Twitter ID password. Reset our password. There we go. Now, new password. Good. Password has been set. Reset. And I think we are good to go now. Now, this is the web of C Trader. So we will close this and we will go towards our application. Enter the password, log in. And we have successfully logged in. Right. So this is the front end of C Trader that you will see. Now, from here, you can do a lot of different things. What I like to do is I like to set up my own template. I like to set the charts up just the way I want. So the first thing I want to do is I want to remove these volume bars to the bottom. So I'm going to do right click and I'm going to choose color options. And from here, I'll see if I can find the volume bars. I can't find the volume bars. So what I want to do first thing is I want to remove the grid which I'm going to make it completely transparent. And next, what I want to do is I want to remove this background image of C Trader. Now from here, you can have your own image up or you can have like no image. So what I want to do is I want to remove the C Trader image and I want to have it as none. Right. And I want to choose this. Hit save and oh, can only be the newest version. Okay, no problem. Perfect. Right. Next, what I want to do is I want to change some things and what i may want to change is i may want to remove the volume remove volume so we go towards viewing options and we click tick volume now that's been removed awesome now from c trader you can do a lot of different things here to the left hand side you can see which currency pairs you have and if you want you can create your own watch list which will be let's say um dominion watch so we hit okay now we have dominion watch under dominion watch we can choose which currency pairs we want to see let's say i want to see pound usd and i want to see let's say pound yen so i'm going to search right over here gbp gbp yen i want this 
and then i guess i also want xau usd gold and here we're gonna have gold as well perfect right so this is my dominion watch we have gold we have uh, pound yen and we have pound usd now for example if we're looking at gold if we're looking at gold and we want to see okay what's the spread and all those things so here to the right hand side you can basically see all the information related to gold one thing you see is whether you want to buy or you want to sell you can open up an order and then you also see the spread right here 1.5 1.4 it's it's basically variable spreads goes from 0 0.6 0 0.8 to 1.5 1.6 other than that you can see depth of market here to the left hand side you can see all the information about this currency pair which is gold at this point you can see that there's a commission per lot one side three dollars and fifty cents pip position is one the minimum change is 0 0.01 and like you know all those important things that you need you can you can also see when the currency is going to close we can also see the calendar all the news is present here to the left hand side right now from up here you can see you have sell and buys you can change your lot size here as well and one thing I really like about C Trader is the ease of use when it comes towards, you know, moving charts up and down and kind of like, you know, really maneuvering around the chart. Now, one thing I want to also know is that I want to change my template to something that I that I'm really used to. And I think that's going to be Raja Candles right here now. When you're trying to execute trades on C Trader, so we're gonna go over that now. Let's say we wanna execute a, you know, um, 10 cent lot. So we will choose here, we will choose 10 cent lots, which is gonna be 10 cent right here. Now, if you're wondering why these lot sizes are grayed out, they're grayed out because leverage on gold is 100 to 1. And the reason why leverage on gold is 100 100 to 1 is because we have seen that most of the traders they lose money on high volume instruments like gold indices so for that reason we have kept leverage 100 to 1 so that even if you do lose you're going to lose less okay because higher leverage it does mean you're going to make more money but it also means it's, it's very easy for you to lose money as well so let's say we will choose 0 0.1 lots and for the sake of um, explanation we want to know that okay whether gold will go up or gold will go down so first thing what we're going to do is we're going to execute a buy because we think gold will go up so execute a buy now here you see the order is executed to the left hand side what you will see is that there's going to be a tp area which you can adjust and as you're adjusting this, you can see what pips you've moved. You can see what um, the your win amount is going to be. And at the same time, if you move your stop loss, you can see how much you're going to lose, how much you're going to make. So all these things visually present are very handy for us, right? So now from the bottom, we see our position. We can see the position is open. And we also have these three buttons here to the right hand side. The first button means reverse positions. Now you gotta be very, very careful with this. If you think price is going up and you're in a buy, that's perfectly fine now. But if you think that for some reason you're in a bad trade and you quickly wanna open up a sell, you will press this button. And what we will see is automatically this buy is gonna be closed and a sell position is gonna be open with the same lot size see that now we have a sell position open so what this means is if we go to our history you will see that there was a buy position opened which was closed and now we have a sell position running at this time so now we have to adjust the stop loss just like we did with the buys we have to adjust the tp here as well the second button it basically means double up your position if for some reason you think that you're in a better trade and there's a high probability for price to go in your favor all you need to do is press this and it will double up your position now you got to be very careful with this is because this can also add you know extra risk or more risk than you intended to use so if i hit right here you see now my total lot size is 0 0.2 lots which is 20 ounce on gold we can change this this here as well if you want but normally that's now 0 0.2 lots open at this point doubled position okay so other than that i think um 
with execution wise um setting up your charts setting up your lot sizes stop losses i think this is all self-explanatory uh, there are a lot of other things that we can do okay so let's um let's leave this position open and let's talk about indicators now first thing first you have your different candlesticks line charts dot charts area charts and then you have your indicators you can have your trend lines the same like any other platform out there you have your oscillators volatility volume and so so much more now at the same time let's take a look at some copy trading options so from the left hand side you're going to have an option and that that will say copy trading and now it's just going to load and it's going to show you different accounts that are out there on c trader which you can easily copy you can easily copy you can set the filters for 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 whatever you want you can see the amount of percentage they've done you can see the amount of um like you know investors following them so this is going to be a, probably maybe it could be some side source of income that you want by copying trades but listen we don't endorse this this is just out there for you to take advantage of but we don't endorse this we don't know these people these are just you know uh copy traders on the c trader platform there are a lot of other stuff that, that you can do with automation you can write your own code you can write your own scripts uh you can create your own bots for c trader which is now <clears throat> getting really famous now so as far as like you know trades setting up the charts you can do a lot of customization um let's say if i want to look at pound yen from here i can look at pound yen i have my own um candlestick headers here as well and at the same time you can see there's the same information you see you saw on gold the same information you can see on pound yen here as well from your lot sizes to commissions to to maximum lots minimum lots so i think this is it other than that also all your c trader accounts are going to be connected to your gmail email so from here i can see i only have one account which is a thousand dollar account well now we lost some amount but anyway this is all we have with dominion markets so take care everyone um i hope this was educational easy to understand main thing is how to really set up your c trader have you signed up and get you using this new platform take care Dominion Markets, your trading sanctuary.